You can also digitize your own stump work design. For this design, we're going to pre-select our properties for stump work in the Cutwork Docker. I'll uncheck Stabilizing Run, and I'll change the embroidery properties. I'm going to change the gauge of the wire, and I'll change the width of the satin stitch, and then click OK. Go to the Cutwork Toolbox and click on Digitize Piece. Digitize Piece is used for stump work designs. And I'm going to digitize a leaf with left and right clicks, and the same digitizing principles apply to stump work. Left click for points, right click for curves, and let the software close the shape by pressing Enter. And you can see by digitizing that shape, I have my placement line, my tack down, my cover, as well as the cut lines, because that's what was selected in the Cutwork Docker. If I decide that I want a stabilizing run, then select the stump work and place a check mark by stabilizing run, and it is added to the design. If I decide I want to cut my closed border, I can select the object and then click on Cut Close Border and click where I would like that cut piece to be so it will let the wire protrude from the satin stitch. Undo will also remove the cut. If I decide I want to add an extra wire line down the center of the leaf, I can select in the Stump Work Toolbox Digitize Wire Line and add left and right clicks to create the wire line, pressing Enter to activate the line. I can also edit anything that I create through Reshape and press Escape. I want to move this wire line to the beginning of the design, so I'll click on Move to Start in Color Film. Now I can select all my objects and click on Create Stump Work Subdesign and then on Open Stump Work Subdesign. When I'm ready to close the Stump Work Design, I click on the X in the tab, and the design goes back to the base design, although in this case, we don't have a base design. This will be cut out and will be an individual leaf. So let's watch how Stump Work stitches out. The wire line has already stitched on the sheer fabric, and now the stabilizing run is stitching. Next, a double placement line will stitch for the wire line. And it's in between these two lines where the wire will be laid. The tack down will hold the wire in place, and this is an open zigzag stitch. It is suggested that you use the foot control to run the embroidery machine at this point, and you slow down the speed. Then you can increase the speed and use the start stop button to stitch the cover. And then the stabilizing run two will stitch and this stabilizes the fabric for cutting. Set your machine for cut work, insert the cut work tool, and then you can cut the design. Or if you have changed the properties in the cut work docker, you can use a pair of scissors to cut out the design.